Hey everybody. Today is September 6, 2013 and we have another computer in for service. First thing I have to do with this thing is get it cleaned out because it is filthy. As always. It's a unique kind of dust. There's power supply. Have a look at this fan. Now it's going to take the cover off and get a look inside. This is a filthy one, most definitely. Look at the dust in the bottom of this thing. This is a very, very nasty one. Caked all up in the um, CPU fan, but the CPU fan can still breathe somewhat. There's the power supply. It's the um, infamous D305. Well, these are great power supplies, but they um, tend to have caps fail. I've had to recap so many of these things, I've done lost count. Well, actually, I think it was three so far, but it's going to be four or five here in the next probably month or so. Got some cobwebs in here. Got some dust build up there. Dust all over the hard drive. It looks like this computer may have been in an environment where the owner was um, probably working with drywall. It looks really familiar to me. The kind of the dust, anyways. But um, let's go ahead and clean it out. About to see me get dirty possibly hopefully not but if I do get dirty I can just blow myself off with the compressor just had to blow this tape off with a bunch of aluminum stuff on it but anyways here we go here we go oh this is bad it's gonna be bad <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, this is terrible. Yeah, it's got to be drywall dust. I wasn't expecting this one to be this bad, but it is probably this is probably the worst, the probably the filthiest computer I've cleaned. Can't breathe. Hard to breathe. It's looking clean, but I still got some more to do. 
look at the front of this thing. It's all coming out the front. I'd be amazed if this DVD drive still functions with all that dust. This is bad. I'll repeat myself. I have yet to see. This is the got to be the worst system I've ever seen in terms of dust. I have never worked on a computer so filthy. That's got to be drywall dust. All right, let's continue on here. Whew. And let the dust settle just a little bit. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I took my Allegra today. Otherwise, I'd be having a severe allergy attack right now. Alright, let's finish it up. servicing it. I'll probably replace it with a different one and recap it. I'm going to tilt it up a little bit. <coughs> Try to get in here real good. charge off that compressor. charge it. Look at this. Look at my shirt. Hey, look at this shirt. Okay. That was epic. Whew. Oh, that was a nasty one. Anyways, it's clean now. Looks a lot better than it did. <coughs> it's going to take me a while to get my throat cleared out, though. I should have put an air mask on for this one. This computer still runs XP, but it's probably going to be pushed up to Windows 7 or Windows Vista, something newer because XP is going to be timing out support pretty soon. This is a Socket 939 machine from what it appears anyway with the memory modules. It appears to be 939. Still a pretty capable machine. Anyways, I'm going to show you the front of this thing again. What a difference. Not sure why that's pushed in like that. Um, 
notice here the DVD DVD burn still looks I mean looks a lot better than it did there's still a light coating of dust in here but nothing too major I'll be surprised if that thing still works let me show you the side over here so yeah it took a full compressor charge to clean this thing out. There was dust flying until the very last puff of air came out of that hose. So to wrap up this video I'm going to show you the air compressor. Okay now I'm in the greenhouse next to the garage which is currently being um, worked on as you can see um, <laughs> the floor is pretty much turning into a jungle. But back here is the air compressor that is used for um, cleaning out the computers. And of course, for other things like in the shop and everything. Yes, yeah, the greenhouse, there's a power meter. If, for all you power meter fans out there. But um, anyways, here's a closer look at this compressor. It's a 240 volt single phase. It's a giant. You can barely see it, but it has a big old tank on it. Humongous tank. And I think probably a two horse motor. Two horsepower motor, I believe. I, I don't know for sure. One or two horsepower. Gigantic compressor. And cleaning up that drywall dust filled computer took the entire charge of that compressor. Now, obviously, I turned it, I went and actually shut off power to it so it wouldn't come back on. It discharged that entire tank in uh, cleaning up that machine. Normally, the only time I ever. Um, discharge the entire tank is if I'm cleaning out a humongous computer such as a mid-tower deluxe but this is just a standard HP so anyways um anyways that was um the as of to date that was the worst computer ever in terms of dust I have yet to clean out a filthier of one so any questions or comments feel free to ask and thanks for watching and the sun is going down